Hey everyone, so today we'll be solving a cross-site scripting vulnerability lab in Port Swigger Academy. So we are starting off with the first lab that is present in the cross-site scripting vulnerability lab section. So let's get started. So this lab contains a simple reflected cross-site scripting vulnerability in the search functionality. And to solve this lab, perform a cross-site scripting attack that calls alert function. So basically you need to pop up an alert box on that particular web page. Okay. So I've already started this lab. It's in this tab. Yeah. So the first thing that you have to do whenever you are searching for a cross-site scripting vulnerability is that you have to use this uh, less than symbol. Okay, let me just put that. So this is the search, uh, uh, you know, this is the search functionality that they are uh, that they were mentioning in the description. So the first thing whenever you are searching for a cross-site scripting vulnerability is to you know use the less than symbol, and along with that you need you can type whatever you want. So here I'm typing I code and enter. So let's just wait for the response. Yeah. Now let me just go to the source code of the web page, right? And you can, here you can search for that I code, I code. And as you can see, the less than symbol is getting reflected on the web page without any, you know, encoding. So that means there is a possibility that, you know, there is a cross-site scripting vulnerability. Now what we can do is, yeah, instead of uh, giving less than I code, I'll also close it and check if the greater than symbol is also getting reflected or not. And as you can see, yeah, both the less than and greater than symbols are getting reflected, right? So now I'll use a simple and basic, you know, um, XSS payload like script alert, or I'll use a simple prompt, prompt one, and I'll close it, script. And along with that, I'll just, you know, as always, I'll give the, uh, some extra text so that I can find it on the source code. And here I'm giving I code and I'll hit and enter. So let me just search for I code. And as you can see, uh, the complete payload is getting reflected without any encoding on this web page. So that means the cross site scripting vulnerability is present on this particular web page. So let me just remove this view source and let's see if that is getting reflected or not. And there you go, we solved that. So it's a simple lab uh, and let's see how difficult are the next labs on Board Sugar Academy. So till then, stay tuned. Thank you. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.